It's luxury, man. It's luxury. Well, we're about two inches of standing water right here. Oh, come on! Look at that. All kinds of fun stuff today. Good morning. So today we're heading up to northern Minnesota to do some sight fishing for Lake Whitefish. And we're not gonna take the white beast today because my dad doesn't like the humming sound of 35 inch mud tires, so probably gonna take their vehicle instead. It's either coffee or one of these, and I don't have time for coffee this morning, so we're gonna get one of these. Hello, dear. Hola, how are you? I'm delightful, how are you? Good, good. One-hander. Woo! People are always like, why do you drink energy drinks? They're so bad for you, you shouldn't drink them. As they're smoking a cigarette, so. Also, just to clarify, so I don't ruin anyone's day, we're not bringing the fish house up there. I don't know the ice up there. It's the end of the season. It's probably not that safe. So we're gonna use the portable instead. So I figured I'd just burst your bubble already. Uh, there you go. We're gonna take dad's old truck, his baby. Morning, dad. What year is your truck again? 92. A 92. This is his baby. It's in super good shape. Collector. The collector edition. We're taking her all the way to up there. 60,000 miles on her. Phoenix, Arizona, with no rust. Yep. She's a rust virgin. Oh, we're taking the four-wheeler. No, we're not gonna walk. Oh, okay, good, because I remember this lake and usually when it involves pulling the fish house, it's strapped to me. That's right. When I say we, I mean you. Yep, so I'm happy we're taking the four-wheeler. <laughs> Made it to the spot. Let's get all that shit unloaded and get out there for some lake whitefish, baby. Gonna sled dog this bitch, baby. Yep, let her buck. This ain't luxury. I don't know what is. God, that thing kicks ass. She's a windy one today, boys. Like, this thing would take off if we weren't sitting in it. <laughs> God damn it. What? The fucking, I can't even get a chance to sit down because the wind's blowing so hard. There. So we hit the spot and we're gonna drill a few more holes, do like a double or a triple so we can get some better sight fishing. I can't tell you what lake we're on because there's some people out there that might get butt hurt, so. Gotta keep that one a secret. Let's go. Oh, come on, baby. Two of them came in and just fucking smoked it. Dad's first camera official yeah, right. Lake Whitefish. Cut a bunch of these before. But that way, everyone can have some proof here that you got it, because we got it on camera now. Right, if you can get it to turn his head up the hole. Come on, baby. Oh, he's big. Yeah, I know they're big. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh. This is like one of those heartbreaker moments. I know. I didn't have the GoPro set up yet, but we got it on the iPhone, oh, so here we go. because he wanted to be caught. Woo! Look at that. There it is, boys. Hell yeah, Dad. The bottom, and they, they came in, it's like, pow! So, had to get one on the iPhone because I didn't have the GoPro set up, but now we're good to go. And here we are. Dad's first camera official Lake Whitefish. And we're gonna keep a couple to smoke them. 
But look at that, not even five minutes in. <laughs> First drop. And we're only in what, like eight feet of water? Right. Actually, two of them came at the same time. And quite we're just using these little spoons here with some wax worms. And yeah, apparently that's what they're going for right now. I drilled me a triple hole so we can get a little more action shot. Let's get my little wax worm on here. This is sweet though. How did you end up finding this random ass spot in the middle of this lake? It was, it was a lot of research actually. It, I, we've been looking for all kinds of different places to go for Caden for his book. So you and him could both get your life for whitefish. And uh, we finally came across this spot. I talked to some locals and stuff and it was pretty lucky actually. And we figured out how to fish them. And uh, I shared the information, GPS coordinates, what bait we used and that kind of stuff with some of my friends from Rough Fish. Uh, Moose, he's a good friend. His girlfriend Maggie, she's really cool. Um, ben and Sam, some other buddies, I sent them the coordinates and stuff. And it, that's what it's all about is like helping your friends, you know, find different things. It's like nobody's going to come out here and catch a hundred white fish. So it's not like it's going to hurt it. Right. Hell yeah, brother. Well, let's see what else we can get. That's right. Oh, we got a monster! We got a monster! Look at that! That is a beaut. True trophy. This is a true trophy right here. A fucking perch about the size of a minnow, dude. <laughs> you probably use them for bait. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Puny! Go back to your home and stay the hell away from the bait. Got one right down there, guys. He's doing the little sweep. Usually they come by and they flick it with their tail and then they'll swing back around and nail it. So hopefully... He just came through back past this way again. That's what he's doing because he came by and flicked mine. Yeah, there's been just huge schools of perch in here just screwing with the bait and all of a sudden they scattered and then this black mass just comes through. Hopefully he comes back. Just nice slow jigs like this. Apparently they're skittish. So you don't want to do like your normal, your normal crappie jig. Well, we're about two inches of standing water right here. Skis are just about underwater. This thing could freaking float away if we weren't in it. Like, look at this. That's insane. Every freaking where, dude. This is insane. I cannot believe that. We have to be careful. If we hang out here for too long, the wind and the sun is gonna melt the lake off and we're out here in the middle of it. Got a decent northern right there. See That's him? pretty cool to see. All of a sudden, all these perch scattered. <laughs> and this friggin' thing just takes mine and jets that way. Thankfully, it let off, because obviously we don't want northern. No, we don't want to lose our shit either. Yeah, it was pretty cool to see, though. I thought it was a, I thought it was a white for a second, because it came through so fast. There he is, right freaking there. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. I'm trying to get a decent shot. It's pretty looking, but I don't want to get him, so we're gonna come up real slow. Where is it? Right under my hole. <laughs> it's a crayfish down there. Oh, no fucking way. <laughs> Hold on, little buddy. What the heck, dude? Nothing He's... like fresh white fish and lobster tails. <laughs> right? <laughs> Look at that. All kinds of fun stuff today. Baby perch, crayfish, one white. Hell yeah. You go back down there, little dude. Have fun. You watch him get smoked as he <laughs> oh, yeah. So jigging for white fish, and this little dickhead had to come up and smoke her. Yeah. Sometimes you get the ones you aren't trying to target. Just the way it is. Swamp shark. He gone. Slimed up my hole. Love it. Well, I don't know how much longer we should stay out here because there is like an inch or two of standing water on top of the ice. There's that hole that was an eight inch hole. Now it's like a 14 inch hole. We've only been out here for a couple hours. Yeah, we've only been out here for a couple hours. So that can be dangerous if there's any sort of crack in the ice anywhere or somebody spear hole. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Just sun and wind and open water just do not 
do very well and we have quite a drive back to the access so don't know how much longer we're gonna stay here just gonna try some of these a little bit further away from the house can't see as well but freaking a boys ice fishing is almost over boys and gals I guess there are some female subscribers on my channel look at that eight inch hole and it's like almost two feet this way now just from a couple hours of sun and moving water with wind it's like if you imagine like a whole stress crack on a lake that could be extremely dangerous because you wouldn't even be able to drive back across it again they're kind of a uh, frustrating fish uh. come in anonymously and yeah i think the the warm water going down the hole is just kind of screwing with them so it's just the way it is this time of year pretty fish though yeah they are really pretty the easiest way to tell if you have a white fish or a cisco which a lot of people don't know they think it's a big cisco and it's not it's a white fish is the lower lip on a white fish drops up inside the upper lip see that now if it were a cisco the bottom jaw sticks out further than the top jaw this would close over top of it Look at a tiny little mouth though, it's probably for a big fish so they can eat that much. Yeah. What does everyone call it when it's all the same fish? Oh, tulabies, ciscos, lake herring, it, it's all the same species of fish. And then there's white fish like this, and then there's menominee or round white fish, which we all caught up in Superior. Those are a lot harder to find than these. Oh. Yeah, I don't know guys. There is a lot of water on the lake now. It's 56 degrees, exactly like the radar said. Look at that. Wow. This is just another couple, like another half hour later. It's just even bigger. <laughs> Might have to just call that one fish good and wrap her up. Our trusty Eskimo fish tell us. Oh yeah, she's been through a lot. Yeah, it has. It's been all over the freaking state. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, and don't worry. Before anyone's gonna go bitching at me in the comments for drilling a big try hole, I have a stick so you can calm your tits. There you go. Now nobody has to get angry. <laughs> well, back on dry land again, sort of, and we're gonna wrap this one up. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Things Chris Does. Another fishing adventure with dad. We got one of the fish that we were targeting. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If not, that's fine too, but regardless, life is short, so get out and do all the things. See you in the next one.